Okay, next up for us is a short tour of getting around BandLab. So we're going to start on our web page. We're going to head over and open a new browser window. We're going to type in edu.bandlab.com. That's going to get us to the website. Once you're in, you can see our basic classroom layout. You can see your name, your school, and also our course. In the upper right corner, you'll see your avatar with the choices for my classes and my libraries. This is another way to get around. We're going to click on our demo classroom and move on to our assignments. In this view, you can see that we have listed all the assignments that I give you in class. If you're wondering when something was assigned, you can look under my name and it'll give the date for when the assignment was put in. Next up, we're going to choose an old assignment that I had from a different class. Always choose the teacher's assignment when working on an assignment in class. Once it loads up, you're going to be faced with your work area screen along with an assignment brief. Once you're on your main work area, you'll see the assignment brief on the right that gives you instructions or grading criteria that I'm looking for inside the project. To make the assignment brief disappear, just click on the words assignment brief in the lower right and it's gone. Next I'm going to create a short project to show you how to use the save and submit buttons. So we're going to start by looking through the loops. I'm going to pick out three loops to put in and then I'm going to stretch them out so they are a short little song and then I'm going to save and submit it. Just as a reminder, the loops button is in the lower right hand corner. You can make it appear and disappear anytime you want. Now that I'm finished with my little project, first I'm going to click save and then submit. So save will make sure your information for your project is saved. That way you can go back and fix it if you need to. And then submitting it, when you click submit, it'll send the project to me for being graded. So once again, save saves the project submit sends it to me. You have to do that for every project to save and submit. That's everything for the basics of getting around the BandLab classroom. I will see you next time.